guys, JT Wisdom. How you doing, my ones? Uh, kind of been off off for for a while uh, because uh, first it was, you know, I was uh, dealing with allergies and then allergies and then sinus infection and then so and then my hubby you know was dealing with a head cold and everything. So we're still recuperating, uh, but get but but uh, but but uh, but feeling better, getting a lot of rest and stuff like that. But uh, we really felt that we needed to. Um, get a get a video get a video up because we know it's been like about a couple of weeks or so but we've been pretty much kind of battling sinus sinuses and stuff for about a couple of weeks and so and then we were still kind of going like how you know work and you know in church and work you know and going like how we normally are and then we had one of saying whoa we need to get some rest so uh so we wanted to get on and and uh say hey how you doing hope you're doing well and everything and uh, wanted to come on with a review of a Patricia Nash handbag, so stay tuned. So, uh, I, as I said before, I was looking for, I had been looking for a, a bag that I could put my laptop in for work and I, I, that I could put some file folders in and just put something in, but that it would look, and that it would look chic and look really really classy but i was really looking for something that would kind of stand stand that would stand the test of time because a lot of bags that i had been carrying i would carry them for so long then either the handle would come off or uh it would start fraying and then so um my hubby got me a uh i wanted i was wearing a backpack so i was wearing a uh it was a purple backpack still have it purple backpack and i was wearing that backpack i think i wore that backpack most of last year and part of this year and uh it happened to be on qvc i don't know i think we might have been coming in from church and i happened to see on the tv because we usually like to keep 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 the tv on for the pups and so i happened to be on there be on happened to walk in and it happened to be that patricia nash as one of uh the lovely elegant lovelies on uh youtube said that Trisha Nash was going to be on QVC, so she actually was on QVC, and uh, I think it was like a Saturday night, and I think she might have been on with Amy Strand, and uh, she happened. it happened to be a one day only, and it was called the Benvenute, Benvenuto Tote, so I'm just looking at my iPad here. Uh, yes, it's the Patricia Nash Leather Tote, and it's called Benvenuto. And she had it in uh, uh, Riot Rust, which is that map uh, map design, and it was in black, and it was in tan. And I really thought it was really cool. It was leather, and right now, the bag is only available in black. So the camel, or I think it was called camel or tan, is sold out. The Riot Rust is sold out practically. I, I think what I wound up doing was, I think the Riot Rust had already, the map collection had already sold out and I had just got it on wait list and I said well if it comes in you know we'll see how it is so it actually I think my hubby said it was it like in two days it had processed or something so I don't know if someone had reneged on their you know order or whatever but I but it was so it wound up coming in and when I saw the bag, I said, oh, because, you know, I was really undecided because on QVC, as you know, we've been hearing a lot of times we'll hear people say when they talk about like the Dooney and Burke handbags and stuff like that, they'll say, oh, the dimensions aren't, you know, uh, some, it seems like on the dimensions aren't right. So on here, it says on the QVC.com website, it says the measurement is approximately 13.75 in length and six inches wide by 12 and a half inches high with a 12 uh, inch handle strap. And it weighs approximately 2.36 pounds. It if it weighs 2.36 pounds, it really does not feel like it because if it, it feels really, really light. It I mean the more you put in it, of course, it's gonna make it feel heavy, but it feels really light. But then also this bag is carried at on Macy's.com too. And on Macy's.com right now, they they basically have this, they have the bag available in the it's called the tan gold, uh the it's also called in. It's also in the map design too, and it's available in. in it's called black silver. So now here, the dimensions actually say that it's 19 inches wide. Let me show you the bag first. Lord have mercy! You can tell I'm still trying to get it together. <laughs> so the dimensions for the, the dimensions, which I think are correct on Macy's.com, the dimensions are 19 inches wide 
by 14 and a half inches in height and six inch six inch diameter and that would be because my 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 mac 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 laptop mac mac pro laptop is 15 inch because i was wondering oh my goodness you know because on uh on qvc it says that that the the dimensions are 13 and a 0.75 inches long by six inches wide and 12.5 in height and i was like i don't know if that's going to really fit or not so it actually is it's a it's a substantial it it'll fit easily fit a 15 inch a 15 inch because it's 19 inches wide by 14 and a half inches in height and even though um because my laptop uh, my laptop is 15 inches wide and it's perfect so you can see that and the the product details is it says this patricia nash bag takes a modern shape and pairs it with antique detailing for a nostalgic well-traveled appeal it's aged gold tone hardware and antique images decorate this unique design so this bag is a hundred percent leather uh the bag is not like it's it's to me it is soft you can see how pliable it is now it's not soft like it's just gonna just you know limp over i don't want a bag like that i want a bag to still it, it can be soft but i still want a bag to hold its shape because this is something that you're going to be putting a laptop in or something like that so i really want it to to hold its shape it, it's not zippered on the top but i do like these handles these these little knobs see they really just different so it's like that and then you open it that way now i'm going to stand up and kind of do a little tour here of the bag so you can see the the detailing here the antique detailing on on each side this is where it says that the handle strap uh you know the wish it's um actually the handle strap is like a 12 inch handle strap and then there's the detailing here and then if i turn the bag over you'll see that there's a big pocket here it's kind of snap and it's a nice size nice roomy pocket here if you want to put your lanyard or uh something you know like that in there then if you open the bag here's my my pins and i have my little bose headphones uh you know my uh, my uh, cord, you know, if you need to take some excedrin, uh, pads and schedule, and here's my laptop. And then if I turn it around, so then there's a zip pocket here where you can, a big, large, and then it actually comes where you can keep like your, like I keep my dongle in here or my thumb drives, those kind of things, thumb drives in here. And then it comes with a card where you can actually register your bag on the Patricia Nash site and uh and if there's anything that you needed like if you wanted to like if something needed to be fixed on the bag or anything like that they would do that and actually there's the label here that says patricia nash now on the on the bags that do not have the map design uh you will see on the side you'll see like the label will be on the outside of the bag and the label's not on the outside of this bag because there's the map design. And I know she just wants that wants that map design to be shown. And then, like, for example, if I wanted to lock, I just put that in, and then I just do that. I just twist it, and there we go. And that's enough in here for me. I think I've heard uh, there was a comment saying that, that, you know, well, they put everything in, and it causes their, their the, the, the straps dig into their shoulders. Well then that means you're just going to have to put less in. You can't put all that in the bag then. Now, I find that this bag is really, really nice. I really like the bag. Um, I carry the bag more than enough room, so I can carry the bag like that. It's more than enough room. I have enough in the bag uh, that uh, it's just enough. It has my laptop, and I keep a couple of, put a, a couple of file folders. I'm not going to put, like, a whole lot in there. This could also be, like, overnight bag. If you wanted to put like your iPad or your tennis shoes, a change of clothes or something like that, you could do that also. So it's really a good, it would be a good weekender bag, but I really like this as a work bag. I really like that. The bottom doesn't have feet, but it does have the gold uh, stud detailing 
uh, actually goes underneath the bag as well. So I think the bag is well made. I think I, I read another comment that said, well, how come the straps can't be wider? Or what, what about if there was like a zipper compartment within the middle or something like that? We have to realize that um, all that could be done, but that's going to add more cost to the bag. So I think for the way the bag is designed like this, I think it's awesome. I think the bag is great. Now, this has been the first bag where I can say like, it's, I really, really like how the style of the bag is. And I know it's going to really last a long time. It has that roomy pocket in the front. Um, if I want to uh, put something in the zipper compartment, there's more than enough room in here. There's two, two pockets, roomy pockets in here. If you wanted to use your readers or something like that, you could put it in there. Um, I do not personally put my wallet or anything like that in my work bag that has my laptop i carry a separate purse so the uh handbag so this is fine for me so again this is in the map design um i decided i got the map design because i think if you look in the video here you'll see the the um review that i did of a map of the map of a map design patricia nash bag that my hubby got for me and you can watch that and that's so it's really neat because it's kind of like i have like a set now because i actually have a work uh, i have my bag that i can use for my work bag and i also have a handbag if i wanted to like wear it matchy matchy if i wanted to but um i usually try not to do matchy matchy but it's nice when you have like a set like that so again i just wanted to just show you this because i've been looking for a work bag a stylish work bag for a long time so I was really kind of on the on the fence about this because I didn't know how uh, how long or how wide it was gonna be and just realized that sometimes um, it looks like in this instance QVC's dimensions wasn't really really on the same level it didn't seem right and so that's why I looked on Macy's because I know Patricia Nash the company carries their carries the bags on at different um, different uh, stores so um it turned out to be really nice and i like the i like how if you notice you see how you have it like that it just stands on its own it's not like falling over or bellowing over or anything like that it, it stands on its own and it's very stylish and it just gives off modern day chic so uh, again i love you guys my team loves you guys again i thank you for every comment every view every like um, much appreciation. Uh, until next time, this is JT Wisdom, and Jesus is Lord.